The project also received gardening materials worth more than $45,000 from Karaku Marine Company and another $5,000 from Bank Windu. This is a clear indication of fighting poverty collectively. And the key to what poverty eradication is hard work in the farming or agricultural sector and also education and skills development. We as leaders must try by all means to assist our people to escape any poverty trap by equalizing access to, to quality and equal opportunities through introducing through introduction or introducing sustainable income generating activities in various, various communities as well as broad-based empowerment programs. Okakarara Constituency Councillor, Senior Administration Officer Margaret Kachina welcomed the donation. I'm personally welcome, welcoming this very noble initiative, not only because it might save a few from starvation, but because of its magnificent contribution towards my personal dream of total food self-sufficiency in five years of the Okakarara Constituency. This initiative will go a long way in creating awareness around the fertility of our own soil and the abundance of underground water resources that possesses huge irrigation potentials. The committee of the Garden of Okakarara is the one that made the application, so we have a little money to set up this important garden that will eradicate hunger and poverty among our community of Okakarara and for the surrounding communities. It was in November that we made the application and by December there was light at the end of the tunnel. The garden will be supervised by the Okakarara Town Council. Faith Sankwasam, NBC News, Okakarara.